What was that? Underdog. <laughs> the underdog factor boost. Yeah. We don't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Anyway. Oh, Ken. Sephiroth. You love to see it. DLC battles. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, as a man of culture of your, of your standing, Pyramithra, Beyblades, what would you call Sephiroth? Call him a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He killed my friend. Yeah. <laughs> he call he kill my friend and then mentally harasses the main character, to put it lightly. Yeah. Then he chases you into another game to be a jerk to the main character in that game. <laughs> He'll never be a memory. Exactly. Zimang, if Sephiroth killed you, I would he be, did. I would be shook. I mean, he already did because my real name is Zach. Yeah. Guess who died in Final Fantasy VII? Zach. Yeah, precisely. That's the funny thing is I've never played Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. I know this stuff. <laughs> it's, like it's in the culture, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can go buy the Final Fantasy VII t-shirt at Uniqlo right now. Not, not a sponsorship. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what is it? Is it like Sephiroth? Um, just like various screenshots of the game. Interesting. Yeah, they have a bunch of designs. I'll, I got uh, a... Yeah, I like 15. Anyway, okay. RPG battles, DLC battles. The, the outcome of this set will determine which franchise is better. Yeah. What do you have your money on? Uh, I, uh, I like Xenoblade more, actually. That's perfect, because I'm a Final Fantasy fan, I think. Observer. Observer. I've Yeah, I played the first five minutes of 7 and a little bit of 14. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Oh, you went down the path of, like, was it Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic or f 14? You went down 14 a bit. Yeah, I explored that skill tree. <laughs> yeah, and you, just, and you just like, nah, I can't do this. Yeah. So this is something, the side bees, we saw Ken practicing his side bees for whatever reason. And if you can't read his tag, it's Ken Ofu, off. Yeah. which means offline. So that's interesting. He's playing Sephiroth offline. Yeah, because he's been going to a lot of events. Like, I know he goes to, like... Not every week, but usually goes to the, the Shino Sumas and plays. Yeah. He's been playing a lot of Sephiroth. Yeah, he molly wops people, including such people such as yourself. That is true. <laughs> Have you played him at Shino Sumas? Uh, I've never played him, but I've seen him play the other pits who go to Shino mm. and he kind of cook them too. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's almost like boiled goose. Yeah. All the feathers and stuff. Pluck them clean and almost kind of get. That was a lot of shield pressure there. Yeah. Yeah, man, that Pyro's down air, so dangerous. Mm. And Shutan already on the second stock, trying to, you know, even things up here, but it looks like Ken is back on stage playing neutral now. Yeah. So, like, what I've been thinking about for Pyra and Mithra is that there's... Ooh. Oh, he read the run-up shield. That could have been big. Yeah. That's a bylift strat where you throw out the fair, do some shield damage, and then break it. Yeah. Sorry, you were talking. Yeah, I was thinking that, like, a lot of... AG's players that I've been seeing recently, they've been sticking more to, like, the trade. They've been sticking more to Mithra, even if their opponent's at kill percent. Yeah. Because her neutrals is so much better. So I was thinking about this in the shower the other day, my man, because Mithra, good for early mid percents. Uh -huh. Pyra, net you an early kill. But then, at some point, at, like, 130, up smash got to kill anyway, right? Yeah. All our moves start killing Mithra, moves start killing anyway, so you might as well go back for that extra mobility. Oh, my exactly. goodness. I've never seen that hit so low. Yeah. That was a really interesting option. It probably a combination of, like, the percent Ken is at and his, like, Sephiroth's giant frame. That's very true. He is Maybe a character-specific theme. He is Dracula-esque in terms of frame. Yeah. Stature. All right. Ooh, Ooh. Foresight. Yeah, that's always a punish. Shoot time looking for those. Exactly. Okay, this is very intense neutral here. Neither player wanting to give up their second stock that early in the game. This is also, you know, going to set the pace for the rest of the set here because it's game one. Yep. Game one of potentially three. So, one wing mode is active, but it's not really coming into play other than Ken just mixing up where he's landing at. Yeah. 
I don't think we're going to see a super armored smash come out from him at this point in the game. If we did, that would be a real wild card pick, but it'd probably be a mix up later on if Shutan forgets he has that option. Yeah. Ooh, so that's what I'm talking about. 130 after the hit, and it kills. And it's because he's Kirby weight, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's going around doing boyo with his wing out. Exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. But still, Sephiroth has that big sword, so he can easily tie this up. But he just needs that one straight hit. True, but yo. Shutan ain't giving him any space to do it. Exactly, with the cut or the death of a thousand cuts, like Mithra just comes in and hits you so many tiny times. Kind of like what we were talking about, that archetype of duty inkling earlier. Yeah, like the death of a thousand cuts, just smothering kind of character. Yep. Oh, Ooh. if you did not hit that ledge the right way, you would have been out of there. Exactly. That's why people stick around with Pi Mithra so much. All right, while we mode active, we'll see if Ken can use this to his advantage. My, pal my palms are sweaty right now. <laughs> this is, oh, this looks kind knees of are, daunting. Knees are weak, palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti. I think that's how that song goes. Yeah, I mean, it's not a song. It's my life right now. This guy <laughs> is going, he's popping off. Look at this juggle. Okay, one wing Snap. out. Foresight. Forget about your punish. He said forget about love. I'm trying to be, you have to be really cautious because of uh, one raw hit can't exactly. end exactly. Sephiroth's career. Okay, I was gonna say that was prime pyro percent because yo one hit. Now it's you know maybe up smash is the big thing yeah. you have to worry about here. Our uh, I think down tilt into a combo. Hit. Yeah, I think those are the things I'd be worried about if Ken, if I was Ken just. Who tried to skewer? Oh, S swipe, <laughs> swipe right. Oh, right in the eye! <laughs> so that's definitely a good. So that's definitely the biggest flaw of the Beyblades. Oh man, yeah, because she has to go horizontal there. Yep. She was dead before she hit the water. Exactly. And with the one wing mode, you got that extra jump. Bam! Hit him with the pick sticker. Oh, you're coming back. Yeah, with that hot iron rod that goes 12 feet. You know, in the the Grinch, he stole Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. The narrator talks about he doesn't want to touch the Grinch with a forty-eight and a half foot pole. Yeah, that's Sephiroth. He goes out there; he will touch you with that pole. Yeah, how how Sephiroth stole stole Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> he would totally steal Christmas too. Yeah, he's definitely a Grinch, but he wouldn't have a change of heart at the end. He would still be a jerk. Yeah, he he would steal Christmas by dropping a meteor on Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, we need to see that now. Thanos versus uh, Sephiroth. Yeah, he's dead, though. Yo, how are you going to yeah. steal Christmas if you're dead? <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Mithra going to save Christmas. How Mithra saved how the How, the, how Beyblade souls saved Christmas. <laughs> it was, it was yo, you'll be surprised. It was with a foresight and a jab. <laughs> All right. Snap. Um... Yeah, that was a really early <laughs> stock from Shuton. Yeah, that was ridiculously early. He just got him off there. He didn't even kill him off the side. He it just was could not make it back, and that is a weakness of Sephiroth. Is his recovery cannot reach from all sides. You know, like some characters like Samus or Inkling, no yeah. matter how far you knock them out, they're going to make it back. Right. Not the case for our, our, po our Pokey Boy. Pokey Boy. All right. So, yeah, this is a pretty comfortable lead for Shuton. Yeah, but I wouldn't be resting on my laurels too soon. And, you know, he's a seasoned player, so he knows not to get comfortable here against Ken. Yeah, exactly. I feel like Ken really wants to steal a stock with the uh, Hell's Gate. Oh, we try to grab him on the platform. That's a mix and a half, but Ken too good for it. Okay. Yep. He's not uh, going for an attack because he's going to get hit by the foresight. Mm. Oof. Very, tr very true. And he's trying to scare Shutan into, you know, spamming his very good air dodge. Yeah, then getting a f fat up air. Big old juicy frame trap. Oh, my God, you went off stage. I cannot believe Ken did not capitalize. <laughs> yeah. Look at this dash dancing. Shutan is respecting him so hard right now. Exactly. Zip. Okay, but you're dead. All right. Now, this is a really comfortable... Ra so this is now Shutan's game to lose. Uh, Ken better pull some magic out of his hat. 
<laughs> He's getting magic on right there. Eleven percent from the jab in the corner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Pyromithra likes that high recovery because you can come down with impunity. Some characters can like hit you out of the parry, but I don't think Sephiroth can do that. Yeah. The only thing he would maybe do is just try to like pick stick you, but not worth the risk. That's a good point. Yeah. He can come. Oh my Ooh. God. You're dead. Don't. You're actually. No, back. you're not. You're coming back. I, I respect the valiant a effort, but uh, a risk is calculated, but maybe he's bad at math. Oh, no, I got bamboozled. You've seen the coffin dance meme, right? Yeah. That's like if they were doing the dance and then Sephiroth comes out of the coffin yeah. alive. Oh the, yeah, goodness. the Undertaker meme. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And now he's stacking it up. Double Whopper. Okay. Okay. Keep it going. Swat. He's not going for these hell gates, have you noticed? Yeah. Which I think, oh, that up air off the top, the almost set knockback. It really knocks you up all the way off the top. And that is 1-1 one, one a piece as we go into game three here. In, in, the, in this uh, DLC battle, Shutan versus Ken. The battle for the last DLC. Yeah. <laughs> The battle for the hearts and minds of not only Kansai, but also the guys writing signs in the background and yeah. all of Japan. All of Japan. Exactly. So, game three, Sephiroth versus the Beyblades. Let's get it. Who will win? One rude pokey boy? Or two waifus. One is kind of a jerk. The other one is very pleasant to be around. I've, I've played Xenoblade 2. Okay, okay. I, I respect it. Okay. I've played a lot of these games. <laughs> That's great. I realized uh, I was making a, an edit of the roster to see, like, whose game I've beaten. It's, I haven't played many of these games, actually. Uh, I've played most of them, except the Pokemon games and the Fire Emblem titles. Yeah, but we don't need that. We need to know about what's going up here in this matchup. Excellent Good tech. tech. Yeah. Uh, he, Ken did manage to get three Shadow Balls on... Uh, Mithra, but didn't really do much. Yeah, not really going to amount to much here. And that down smash, no punish. That is the out of shield game of Sephiroth. Nair, probably his best option out of shield. Yeah. It's just, she's just low profiling that. Exactly. Uh, oh, what did I tell you? Try Late the game. armor. Super armor. But did the wrong move. I think it was up smash that would have clipped. I think so too. Yeah, he just was not ready for Mithra to be in that or Pyro to be in that position. Right. Okay. What's the ledge trap? Getting ledge trapped. Oh yeah, my but goodness. Just getting, you're getting hit by the by a move. Yeah. <laughs> you're now you're just getting hit by a move too. Yeah, there's a little too much sauce. You ever get an enchilada with too much sauce on the on the tortilla? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. It's soaking through and kind of spoiling the game plan. All right. The game plan is to uh, juggle Sephiroth and keep him at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, but you know Sephiroth, you know, trying to do the same thing as you. He's trying to get that shadow flare and stack it up. Okay. Yep. Can we keep him at disadvantage? It's a low edge hang. Uh, can't get anything out. He wants to get ooh foresight. These guys Punish. are so hard to pin down right now. They're having a ha such a hard time hitting each other. Exactly. Pig sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, that side B. <laughs> right. It's when you're watching such a high, you know, fast-paced, high-level gameplay. Seeing someone get hit by side B kind of feels unusual. Yeah. It slows down the game quite a bit when these people are like running back and forth hitting each yeah. other. Exactly. Because if you block it, Pyro can still move. Mm. If you get by it, Pyro doesn't really. Get anything off it other than a footstool. Hmm. So yeah, it's kind of it's just a weird reset. It might become a kill option here at later percents, especially given the weight that Sephiroth has. He yeah. could die, start to die from that around 150, I think. Especially on this stage. Yeah. Here we are on Smashville. Alright. That was a really good jump from ledge. Exactly. Shutan expecting a grounded option, and now he's in disadvantage for making the wrong call. And oh man, Sephiroth calling out the jump from ledge. Right. Snap. 
Yeah, he's also really doing really using the uh, the bonus jump from one wing mode to like mix up his recovery and his ledge options, but still got hit with a random up smash. Yeah, I noticed that. He's playing the ledge game very well. He's still calling out that jump from Shutan, and yeah, I did a little early. All right. Okay, dude, this is kind of good. Hell's Gate. Wow, I got hit by that. I did yeah. not expect that center stage. Yep. Ah, oh, diggity dog, dude. This is getting down to the wire. Shoot Tom versus Ken. Game number three. Back air. Is, not gonna kill. Is this gonna go last stock? I think it's gonna go to last stock. Oh. If he gets the kill, not a sweet spot up air though. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of like Roy side B from the ledge. Oh. oh my God. Is you gonna you gonna make a living off of that dare? All right. Now this is. I feel like this is. The momentum's gone to shoot Tan's favor. Why are you off stage? Your snipe. Ray punishment. <laughs> Bradley Cooper, American sniper. Oh, this is so Not like hard. This. Okay. 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 There we go. Caught you slipping. All right, one wing mode still active. Why is he off stage? Shoot Tan eats at the ledge. Exactly. Yep. Up air. You got red. Wow. My dude. Wow, and the pop off too, Shutan. Netsu, I saw the uh, I saw the science that Netsu and Psycho. Strong, strong fever. <laughs> uh, in that order. Yeah. Nice. Dang, that was so well played. Yeah. Yeah. So Shutan, very happy about that win. If you're, if you were, if I was Ken, I would, I would not be happy. So, we saw a winner's semis right there. Oh, sorry, excuse me, that was winner's quarter.